My purpose is to nurture and create joy. Mindy's work motto is, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Working with Mindy Young is like working with a bolt of energy. She just is who she is, and that's a lovely, warm, and compassionate human being. As a teenager growing up in Lehigh, in the late 80s, early 90s, there weren't gay people. You know, they just didn't exist. And so I didn't think about it, but I was obsessed with erasure. I was a teacher for many years. I love the theater because whatever size you are, whatever look you have, there's a place for you. She just exudes this otherworldly excitement and joy and compassion for the people that she meets. And she gives it so freely too. So Mindy's creativity, I think, is another incredible tool that she uses and deploys. You can see this through the various events that Equality Utah participates in, these elaborate events that, of course, are theatrical, but I think they're also really an opportunity for the community to celebrate, to come together, to feel joy and happiness. She's one of those people who lives advocacy and lives allyship in everything she does. Where would we be without her? This last Pride was so intense for me because I knew it was my last one at Equality Utah. Walking the parade, I just, the whole time I was feeling so in love with our community. We are really going to miss Mindy at Equality Utah, but now she is moving on to the Huntsman Mental Health Foundation to use her skills to help alleviate the pain of those suffering with mental illness. Congratulations, Mindy. On behalf of your Equality Utah family, I am so excited that we get to extend this honor to you. Thank you for everything that you do for our community, for everything you did for me as a young person. I'm really blessed to know you and so grateful that you're a part of my life. Congratulations, Mindy Young.